All right, we're going to look at another conservation of momentum problem. And this, again, is a classic physics problem. So it says a 5-kilogram bullet is shot through a 1-kilogram wood block. So I'm going to call MA the bullet, which, again, I want to convert to kilograms right away so I don't forget 0 0.005 kilograms. Um, and it just shows you the bullet has a small mass as compared to the block. Suspended on a string two meters long. The center of the mass of the block is observed to rise 0.45 centimeters, so I called that H. Find the speed of the bullet as it emerges from the block if its initial speed was 300. Okay, so I'll change this centimeters to meters, and I don't think I have to do anything. So we're going to look at this basically as a system. Now, before we go and do anything, we want to visualize. So this and, you know, whatever our hole is, this is going to end up moving, and I'm probably not going to draw it the same, but now we're going to have this change in height here. Okay, so now it's telling us it goes up a certain height. All right, so again, we're going to do conservation of momentum. So we're going to say MAVA plus MBVB. This is the total momentum before. If I want, I can call that P naught. Again, is equal to PF. And that's going to be equal to, so first, we have to find the point when the bullet is in the block and it causes it, this to move up. So we have to think of it in the um, this system in order to get the block and bullet up to this point here, H. So we're going to say MA plus MB times V prime. Now, initially, the block is at rest. So because VB is zero, this whole term goes to zero. So we have MAVA is equal to MA plus MB times V prime. Now, what else do we know? If we, that's conservation of momentum. If we do conservation of energy, because this looks like a pendulum problem. The total energy here is equal to the total energy here. So at the bottom, it's all kinetic energy. Up here, it's all gravitational potential energy. So now if we do, do conservation of energy and we say E naught is equal to EF, again, at the bottom, you're going to have K naught plus U naught. And at the top, you're going to have KF plus UF. And remember, at, if this is our frame of reference, the bottom, um, the gravitational potential energy is zero, and at the top, it's at rest, so it's all, um, so there's no kinetic. So the kinetic energy down here is equal to the potential energy here. So down here, and this is once it's the bullet, it now makes it go up, we're going to have here one half. MA plus MB time squared is equal to MA plus MB, so it's MGH, because kinetic energy is equal to one half MB squared, and gravitational potential energy is MGH. All right. So if I'm looking over here and I want to solve for B prime, I can rearrange the equation because what do you notice? All right, get rid of this. So now I have one half of B prime squared is equal to GH. So I'll multiply by two. So B prime squared is equal to two GH and then take the square root of both sides. So I have V prime is equal to the square root of 2GH. So that's equal to the square root of 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared 
times the height, which is 0 0.0045 meters. And again, I couldn't do my conservation of energy because why? I didn't know V prime, okay? So when you're not sure how to do a problem, you go to the end, and then you just kind of work backwards. So then when I put all this on my calculator, I get V prime is 0.297 meters per second. And once I have this, now I can go back to my conservation of energy, which I had in the beginning, and rearrange this equation here. So I'll just write it over, MAVA plus zero is MA plus MB times V prime. And now, um, oh, now I have to find, oh, okay, I was reading the problem wrong. So now we're going to end up finding the velocity of the bullet after it goes through. So now the third part of the problem is, okay, now we're up here. Now I have this. Now the bullet goes out of the block, and what's the mass of that? So now with my, I'm going to say MAVA plus MBVB is equal to MABA prime plus MBVB prime. And now I'm going to be solving for, because that was zero, the velocity of this um, after the collision. Okay. So when I rearrange that, I want to solve for this. So I'll move this on the other side. I'll have MAVA minus MBVB prime over MA is equal to VA prime. So now I'm going to have 0 0.005 times 300 minus 1 times 0 0.297 divided by 0 0.005. And when I do that, I'm going to get my final answer. Um, and it comes out to be 240.6. So that's 241 meters per second. So we have to do this step by step. So again, we have to treat it as a system because the system of the bullet in the block together moved this up to here to this height. Okay. And I was sometimes, sometimes you try to do it too fast and you make assumptions and you make a mistake. So we have to read that carefully.